Slayer, that's me. Hi. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we've officially hit 100,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, so thank you for all the support. And to celebrate, we have this amazing BT merch for sale at absolutely no discount. So you can buy the buy all the merch at the normal price. Thank you for the support. Again, BT merch, Austin, Texas. Let's go. You weak little boy. It's not gonna work. You want me to sing to you? You've got Bill Idol. Or Wham. No Michael Jackson. Ah, I'm not feeling Michael Jackson at all. I got a lot of deodorant stains on today. Bro, I, I never wear deodorant. <laughs> I see Nicky Ryan putting deodorant on. We're outside sweating. I'm like, okay, okay, fine. I'll put the deodorant on for once. Now everyone's fucking coming at me. At least I'm trying. So you don't usually wear deodorant? What do you mean? Fucking, you don't have hair in your pits? <laughs> Not really, no. Yeah, I mean, I probably do still, but. What's going on with your hair, dude? Oh yeah, I got like a miniature mullet, and that's actually the words that I typed into Google when I was looking for this haircut. So <laughs> miniature mullet. We'll see in a couple of months if I get some flow on it. But right now, <laughs> miniature it's mullet. It's a miniature mullet. Is that like a like a like a mini horse? Like type a of deal? Oh, so mini horse. They got a little different chromosomes. <laughs> I'm regular chromosome, <laughs> different hair. <laughs> Just saying, we got good chromosomes over here, so our B team succeeded. <laughs> okay. Not like a baby horse. He, he's no. saying a mini horse is a regular horse with Down syndrome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? They're birthed from regular horses. Mini horses are? Yeah. I don't know. Are they? Yeah. Okay, so are you a regular horse or a mini horse? I'm a, I'm like a, a, I'm a pony. You know, I gotta grow <laughs> still. I'm a growing boy. All right, I'll grow into my full size soon. <laughs> have the ponies have Down syndrome? A pony's not a baby no, horse. No, mini horses have Down syndrome. <laughs> Uh, what is the difference between a mini horse and a pony? What? Craig, did you hear uh, Jay pulled out of his match? Oh my god. You see, I've been training with Jay, and I've been taking him down and scoring on him. This guy Just mentally me broke him, time. and now he's like, oh, I can't do the match. He takes me down one time. So you pulled out of your match? No, no, no. What's wrong? What's going on? PJ pulled out. He said he's injured. Unfortunately, they offered me they offered me uh, William Tackett, but I don't know if I want to travel nine hours to fight a guy that lives 20 minutes away. So I don't know. We'll figure things out. Don't, don't be so don't be so angry. <laughs> don't be so angry. Look at that. Look at that. It's getting larger. All the stress. Gordon's doing this to him. The stress online. I do have a stomach ache. Some antibiotic resistance. That's for other reasons. Huh? That's for other reasons, though. We take the same type of antibiotics. Uh. 
Me and Gundo watched that exact sequence last night in a wrestling match. Didn't even drill it. Come out, hit it on him, and now he's gonna get strangled. I went to go hit a duck and it wrenched right into my head. Oh, God. <laughs> you good? That was your fault, by the way. That was 100%. I had an underhook. You just went the duck and wrenched straight into my head. You shouldn't have been right there. You've never foam rolled before? This is literally the first time I've ever touched one of these things. My back is so fucked up right now too. It feels pretty good actually. Should I really actually should start doing this? Oh that one's brutal. Oh my god. We got three different sizes. The large rolled over there. The medium. In the Schmedium, we have a space right here to align your spine properly. These beautiful knobs massage your back and muscles. For Fit Beast, discount code B-Team. Make sure you guys stretch properly, avoid injury, and learn to train long term. <laughs> securing your back. Oh my god. Tell us, tell us what this thing does. <laughs> Get out of here. No, this is how you keep it. Okay, take it away. I'd have Greg. to say it would be top three best flashlights I've ever used, even using it after Nicky Ryan. <laughs> so we got different levels of density. We got, look at this, pressure medium on this side. Over here, we got a bigger one for bigger folks like Nicky Rod. Yeah. We got little fingerprints on it. Okay, the different knobs, different densities. These ones are hard, these ones are soft. We got the softer ones. We got the harder ones. Okay, Fit Beast. We got a promotional code. Nicky, what's the code? Code B team. Make sure you guys check it out. Check it out, Nicky Rod's <laughs> spine is being saved. <laughs> All right, guys, best foam rollers in the game, Fit Beast. Come check out all these fancy knobs. Discount code B Team and get you some. Training today, getting ready for UC Pipe Passing. Tough day at the office, man. Tough day at the office with this guy here. I rode with Nicky Rudd to feel better. I've been shitting my pants the last 48 hours. I haven't trained for two months. I come back. Nicky Rudd's been doing cardio, training hard, living a healthy lifestyle. He's got three minutes in it. I expect more out of him like the women in his life expect more out of him. <laughs> Besides that, you've been doing a lot of OT rounds, getting ready for Toledo. Well, to be honest, today I just did offense with Nicky Rod. I didn't want to do defense, given I have the shit in myself, and I didn't want him to squeeze me. But we'll test that out tomorrow. Uh, training camp's going good, yeah. We're just uh, having fun out there, doing more things that we need to get done to be the best we can be at competition. Over time, with Craig Jones, not the easiest part of my day. Actually, one of the toughest. We're locked. Locked into a uh, nut to butt chest to back position. <laughs> Looks a bit weird from the outside, but extremely necessary to train this position when you're going to UFC Fight Pass Invitational with EBI overtime rounds. So I'm excited that my training partners are taking this very seriously, helping me out whenever they can. And uh, you know, BT all day, let's go. The rod has been doing a bit of overtime, bit of bit of everything really, learning to get better not only positionally, but uh, not only in the positions that I'm already good at, but also learn, learning new uh, techniques, implementing new and different techniques that I've been 
working for essentially in the off season to get ready for times like this and times for competition. Good job today. Thank you, sir. Crazy day, eh? <laughs> Man, Detroit for two years, nothing like this happened. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like I got my stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, what was it? Foot stuff. sweep, yeah. back take, rear naked choke. Foot sweep, back take, rear naked choke, knee on belly. Jiu-Jitsu works, bro. Hey, for real. <laughs> I should wear my keep Jiu-Jitsu gear stuff. Oh my god. Heisman comes in like a fucking wrecking ball, bro. So professional. Now he's security. It's the best addition to the team ever. It was a beautiful day. Started the day real nice. I uh, came in for my 8 a.m. class. Went out, grabbed breakfast, came back, you know, and um, you know, I was just taking a nap inside the office. And I think I might have left. You know the car door unopened, unlocked. You know my mistake. Who, who, but like, who is this? What happened? The who guy, the, the guy was in the car taking a bunch of shit. Gundel noticed that the Heisman was sleeping in front of the camera. Oh, dude. He woke him up. Was like, look at these cameras. Look at the guy in your car. You know, I was just taking a nap. Usually that's what I do between classes. And uh, Gundel came in. Okay, I think when he was walking into work, he saw someone in the back of my car just digging through shit. Bro, bro, he's in the back seat. <laughs> he looked like three times. He's like, who the fuck is that? He came in. Waking me up like, yo, I saw some guy in, you know, trying to open your door and oh, going through your car and shit like that. So we checked the camera, like, I saw that I took off. So I, I, I chased him and uh, when I got close, I yelled, like, yo, you know, uh, where are you going with my stuff? This guy had my funny pack, my Supreme funny pack with like my passport, debit card, you know, a very expensive Kobe rookie card in there. I foot swept him, he fell to the gun canvas, he kept still trying to move, trying to uh, escape. So. I ran a choke him from behind. When the cops got there, I told them my story, and uh, he made it look way worse than he was. You know, he pretended like he was unconscious and all that stuff. But you know, he was playing games. The cops know that they deal with guys like that all the time. So yeah, I was pulling up in an Uber back here. And I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck is going on?" Yeah. Jackson was fucking pissed. Just so let you know, he doesn't have any serious injuries, so don't feel guilty about it. Did what you had to do to protect your property man the cops just told me a uh, good job for holding him down <laughs> and i was in every right you know like i was in every right he was trying to take away my property and i had all the rights in the world to defend or protect my prot property and uh whatever i would have done to him i was in the full right but again i just held him down and handed him over to the cops there you have it be careful whose car you break into you because it might be <laughs> this terrifying man right here let's go Boom.